We have an election coming up in the, in the city of Toronto, and everybody's talking about congestion. And then you find out what is actually happening currently to address uh, congestion. So we've got a couple of guests here. Adam Giambroni is a former Fed NDP uh, president, Toronto Transit Commissioner, too, as well. Yes, indeed. TTC is going to be a hot topic, indeed I think, coming will. up. And then uh, Lisa Ann Sondergaard is a VP of Solstice uh, Public Affairs and tax, uh, Toronto Taxpayers Coalition spokesperson as well. And Lisa Ann, let's start with you, because this is a $100,000 study yeah. to investigate what they call the transportation assistance personnel yes. right yes it is oh, come on seriously uh, exactly the, it's absolutely absurd a hundred thousand dollars of taxpayer money to um, literally have somebody hand-holding you to walk across the street so um, I don't know if you read into this but into this more so they asked people how do you feel about this and people just looked at them in absolute awe and aghast and said what do I need somebody to literally escort me across the street. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm with you 100%. Yeah. What are your, what's your take on this? I mean, we're looking at this holistic approach to uh, congestion and we're thinking people like this are going to help? I mean, th these, th this is one of a number of studies that are, happen on a regular basis. I mean, th it's not maybe as, uh, as sexy as you would expect. Perhaps, uh, you know, the price hike sounds like a lot. A lot of, if you think about a lot of studies that are done on government time, if you actually factor the cost of them, most of the studies you've ever read about mm -hmm. run into the hundreds of thousands of dollars of that time. That's not, that's frustrating as a taxpayer, but that's, I mean, if you figure if you're paying people anywhere from six to a hundred thousand dollars a year as a salary, and you factor their time, multiple people, uh, the numbers actually, while they sound frustrating and are as a taxpayer, actually happen all the time. And this is part of that well, ongoing issue. What worries me is when you say this is one of many numbers of studies, and this is one that's $100,000. So how many of these studies are out there? Well, but mm -hmm. you do want, I mean, at the end You're of the day... You're not justifying the amount of money. I'm, well, I'm, I'm with her on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I think what we do want is we... And now we any one study, you know, may in itself, if it's isolated, actually look a little bit frustrating as a taxpayer, but collectively you do want uh, agencies and government departments mm -hmm. to be looking at a range of things so that they can actually consider policy. And sometimes policy runs to dead ends, right? You look at something and say, that's crazy. You hope it wouldn't cost 100000 At the end of the day, though, I mean, the research ends up is based on staff time. And if you look at it, 100000 means, you know, four, three yeah. or four people working for a month or so on something would basically be a hundred thousand stock time. But this is a hundred thousand dollars of absolute government waste. Um, this is a hundred thousand dollars that can be used in other services. Uh, this is a hundred thousand dollars that is coming right out of taxpayer money. Well, it depends. I mean, you're right. It could be maybe done mm -hmm. for another research priority. So the question that you maybe want to rephrase it is not so much, you know, looking at whether uh, the hundred the hundred thousand, but whether that was whether if you had this research time. Because don't you take aside the issue of money, right? Mm -hmm. You have people who are doing research. You have to allocate those resources. So the question becomes, how should we res or allocate research? What should we be researching? And of course, that's up for that's a valid issue for and, debate. And research is always substantial. But at the end of the day, what is the best that they could come up with that we need somebody to literally nanny us across uh, across the street as a as one of the uh, as one of the ways to fix congestion. I don't really think so. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, at any in any one study, what I want people doing who are considering transportation options, congestion, mm -hmm. is I want a wide range of research going in. Then I want mm -hmm. people who are you know experts in the field uh, at the higher levels, maybe uh, ex people who are brought together to decide how that all comes together. And I think w I, when we look at it, research across the board has dead mm -hmm. ends, has things that yeah. you know once you find look at it more closely, kind of seem like a waste of time. But if you never go yeah. ahead and do any of this research. Research, you never, you only, you'd only concentrate on what you already know on, and that's mm -hmm. kind of frustrating. Oh, 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 hold on. Now she's representing taxpayers, and as soon as I hear wide range and experts, I hear cha-ching. Yep, exactly. You know, it's yeah. this all adds up. You're of the spend mentality, obviously. No, not at all. I mean, in fact, spend I find out more. Well, research, no, I, research. I think it, research. For example, I'm very frustrated that Metrolinx, in the, which is the regional transportation authority in Toronto, spends upwards of ninety million dollars and really d adds very little value in terms of transportation. So, you know, we have re transit authorities like Mississauga Transit, the Toronto Transit Commission, that provide services. Part of Metrolinx provides Go Transit, which we know what it does. It moves trains and buses, but a big chunk of that, ninety million dollars. That's not the cost of Go Transit. Yeah. That's actually the consultants and uh, and people who are paid 
and I'm not always sure, and you know, I was very vocal as the chair of the TTC on that, I'm not sure that adds value. So I'm not saying in all cases you just do endless amounts of studies. It needs to be coordinated. My just re reaction is sometimes you do want to do some of those studies, but in some cases, like Metrolinx, I think it's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then you're also commissioning these studies, but then you don't always have to act on these studies as well. So say you have this one that you've commissioned $100,000 for this one study. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you're going to take this $100,000 and you're going to have uh, bureaucrats going out. You're going to have officials going out and uh, shepherding people across the street. But we don't, don't we already have jaywalking? Well, I, I don't think that mm -hmm. that's, first of all, that this is a study. So it's not that they're going to have them doing it. Mm -hmm. And I think what I'm saying to you, though, is you've got to be somewhat careful on going on to one study for 100,000. Yeah. That's why I brought up Metrolinx, right? Mm -hmm. Here's, so we're talking about, a, we started this conversation on 100,000. Yeah. Uh, I may be off a couple million on yeah. the 90 million, but that's basically the budget. Yeah. And what we should be having is a broader conversation. I don't yeah. think we should get zeroed in on one study on 100,000. Yeah. Like it or not, put it aside. When you actually think about it, it's a much bigger issue on some of this, and that's why I raised Metrolinx as an issue, because that's 90, you could do, what, 900 of those yeah. $100,000 studies. But right. her point is not yeah. that. Your point is, why not? Not just police this, right? Yeah, well, well, exactly. And also, it goes to show a long history of inaction on this file, uh, inaction of you know, on. So let's take this on uh, congestion, right? And then um, uh, commissioning these little studies that add up over time, yeah. right? Uh, so hundred thousand dollars—that's a substantial amount of money for the taxpayer. When you when and then and, and as you admitted, there's there's there could be dozens of these little studies going on, right? Well, again, I'm not, I'm not, I don't represent Metrolink, mm -hmm. and I don't I mean no, I don't have just, those positions, be, so yeah. I'm not commissioning any of these studies. Mm -hmm. But having said, you're right. I mean, part of it is too that sometimes a, a hundred thousand dollar study is used, I think, also to to move forward on a file yeah. relatively expectantly when actually what they need to do is invest in in more uh, transit options, more buses. They actually yeah. more ro roads, all these investments. But that's billions, tens of billions, yeah. it's a lot easier to show progress by spending 100000 And I'm not justifying it, but if you see it, that's often what you get in place of real action. You get a study instead mm -hmm. of actually moving forward with one of the So more rather than spending all this money on, this little, on these little projects that are these little uh, research projects that have absolutely no uh, so shepherding of people across the street, um, rather than uh, than diverge diverge these funds into rather substantial projects. But you but you're you're getting sidetracked, and I I don't mm -hmm. disagree with you that yeah. you should do it. But you can't talk about you're not no matter how many hundred thousand dollar studies because there aren't millions mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. And actually, literally, when you exactly. need tens of billions, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have to you do the math of how yeah. you you can't. It's what I'm saying. It's sort of a red herring, right? It's thrown out there. We're now discussing a hundred thousand yeah. dollar study when actually what we should be discussing is we could agree on the hundred thousand being kind of not really have a strong point but what we should discuss we shouldn't let ourselves get sidetracked on this let's focus on why they're not doing the substantive investment in public transit or transportation in yeah. general because that's this is the red herring and it does very no, well because we sure. diverted a whole conversation here yeah. on this study when we should be slamming the government for their refusal to actually get serious on dealing with congestion and I'm sure we'll talk it again because it seems like yeah. congestion is going to be the big one for this one but thank mm. you